Hello everyone, I am biophysics teacher Anelma Salimova from Simei Medical University. So today we discussed about physical basic echocardiography. So guys, uh, to understanding what is physical basic echocardiography, we should know what is the sound. Sound is mechanical vibrations transmitted through the elastic medium. And the pressure waves, when propagate through the air, operate frequency produces sensors of hearing. So, we know the sound is mechanical vibration, and when we have mechanical vibrations, mechanical vibration will be like a wave, and the one compression and the rarefactions constitute one sound wave, it can be represented like a sine wave. And this with components which has two components. It's the amplitude and the wavelength. Amplitude it does mean maximum compression of part particles above the baselines, and the wavelength is the distance between the two nearest points of equal pressure and the density. And also amplitude is it defines the brightness of imaging. Sound velocity will be different, depends on the tissues, yes? It's like a will be material, so air, water, or fat, or muscle, or blood. Pulses ultrasound is diagnosed in imaging short pulses, and this has two components. Pulses ultrasound is the transmitted times and the received times, and depends on parameters, there will be post direction special. So, dependence on the frequency affects the quality of imaging ultrasound image. So when we have higher frequency, it's a better resolution, and when lower frequency, it means less resolution. So we understand that basic echocardiography is a basic echocardiography, it depends on ultrasound waves, and the echocardiography is used to diagnose cardiac pathology. And the next one, Basic echo access will be different because it will be dependent on how we use how we put our transducers, yes, like a parasternal, apical, and the subcastal. And now our lecture is finishing. If you have questions, write me, text me. And uh, thank you for your attention, guys. Bye.